<clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for watching Word from Wise, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode 15. I call this trip Dime Short. So I'm doing 19 Gleason. There's a swimming pool in Portland, Oregon called Monta Villa uh, Community Center. And they have a, a swimming pool. And uh, even my baby swim in that pool. I done swim in that pool. Everybody done swim in that pool. It's in Northeast Portland off of 82nd Avenue and Gleason. Anyway, I love doing the 19 Gleason route. And uh, one day I'm doing the 19 Gleason route. It's a sunny summer day. And it's, a, it's starting to get dark. Almost dark. Not quite dark, but almost dark. You know, and... Uh, I'm riding along and I'm talking with the people and we're having a good time. And, you know, the bus is like a rolling town hall. You know, we talk about politics. We talk about religion. <laughs> we talk about all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff that's wrong. It's stuff that brings arguments, you know, just the regular bus route where people chitter. And, I mean, where people chatter, chitter and chatter, chit chat. Anyway, I'm riding along and I see these three little boys with, Look like they was coming from the swimming pool. And they jumping up and down when they see me. Hey, bus driver, hey. Hey, bus driver, hey. Jumping up and down and stuff. And I said, all right. So I put on the four-way flashes, you know. And I, I, I pull over into the next bus stop. And I put on four-way flashes. And I open up the doors and I wait, you know. And that, that first boy gets on the bus, got snot bubble hanging all out his nose. And he's been, eyes all red and swollen like he's been crying, you know. And, and then the, the other two boys come behind him holding up transfers, you know, the, which is our tickets, tickets from the bus. And they get on the bus and he's all, bus driver, I didn't have a dime. And the bus driver put me off the bus and I need to get a ride home. Would you please give me a ride home, bus driver? I'm a, I'm a dime short. I was a dime short. And I had all my money, all my money, all my money was in my pocket. And it was rolled up. And it was a safety pin on the pocket that was rolled up and a dime my mother told me not to open the pocket until it was time to catch the bus. And all my money was in the pocket. But somehow a dime got out. And so when I got on the bus driver, this big, fat Chinese bus driver said, I can't ride the bus because I'm a dime short. He was in the bus is in front of you. And we have to long, long walk home. Please let us ride. And he was just begging and pleading. He just spit out this horrible story how he was put off the bus. And I said, honey, how, first of all, how old are you? Because I was just curious, you know. <laughs> I was like, and I, and I know the driver. I don't know him personally, but I knew the, the driver that was in front of me because he had been running hot. He's been running fast all day. And when you run fast, my bus gets packed and you're running early. Your bus is empty. He's at the bus stop smoking cigarettes and stuff. <laughs> and my bus is packed and I ain't had a restroom break in 10 hours, you know. He's one of those bus drivers, okay? He's a he's a bus driver. I'm a, Like I told y'all in that way back in the episode two, three, four, way back in there, I'm a transit operator. There is a difference. I was more than just a bus driver. <laughs> So anyway, I say, of course, yes, you can ride, but how old are you? Turns out these boys were nine and 10 years old. Now, all jokes aside, that shit was dangerous. I hope somehow you watch this video and I can tell you myself, that shit was dangerous. You could have got those boys, there's, there's just weirdos out here that's hurting and abducting young people. And kids come up missing every, almost every day on the BDS, the bus dispatch system computer. There's a missing child that you don't see on the hear on the radio. When you get on home from work, you don't hear the whole story on the news. And they're not on the radio. They're not on the news. There's a missing child almost every night and that you don't hear about. And to put a child off a bus, to deny a child a ride home, you know it's dark, and they were cold, 
and they were so adorable. I'm not just saying that because I'm a mom. I have a son. He's grown now. He ain't not 10 years old. My baby grown and gone and prosperous and gone his own way. He's a grown man now. But I remember when he was 10. Hell, I remember when I was 10. When I was 10 years old. You're just a child, you know, and they, and oh, they had, they lived so far from the swimming pool, y'all, with Montevillo swimming pools at 82nd and Gleason, right? They went all the way through downtown and got off the bus, uh, somewhere else on the other side of Lord. They was way, they was, I mean, we, I thought they was going to get off by Lowerhurst. No, they went through downtown and got on, off on the other side on, on the, on the 19 Woodstock route. Yeah. They lived out there. Out th I can't think of the name of the college out there by uh, is it Reed College. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. But then they don't know. What's the, somebody down in the comments, tell me what 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 uh, college is out there on the 19 Woodstock route? Cause I got old now. <laughs> I don't know no more. I don't know. But I know one thing. I appreciate you for watching this video. I hope you like comment subscribe share the video that would be so be a be a dear friend to me share my video that would be so dope if you share the video that would be so bomb that would be so cool that would be so awesome that would be so great thank you for watching word from wise episode 15 dime short and if you're ever on the and oh here's the thing there was people on the bus I asked, and everybody on the bus was like, what, what? When we heard the story, and said, of course you can ride. And I gave them all, all three of them day passes. They kids, and I told them to sit down up front right up here where I can see you, right? Anyway, so we were like, what? And uh, I, 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 the, 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 we were like, was there no adults on the bus that offered to, to pay? Because people were like, I'll pay if you ain't going to let them ride, Angie. I was like, I'll let them ride. I'll give them a day pass. You ain't got to pay for them to ride. He's just... You know, uh, but he said the, the bus driver got mad and told them no. She said this lady came out, old lady had a dollar bill. She said, I'll pay for you, bus driver, uh, pay for him, bus driver, rather. And the young man, the little boy said that the bus driver, the Asian, big, fat, angry bus driver. And I rode his bus, too. I could do a whole, whole bus story on just how he drives. But he said, no, you're interfering with public transportation and you're being disrespectful to the driver you can get off the bus at the next stop if, if you can get off at the bus you can get off the bus right here too if you don't like it it's their responsibility to have the correct fare they don't have the correct fare it's their responsibility and um they can't ride if we let everybody ride that didn't have the money on the bus we wouldn't have the money to run the bus now would we he was one of those you know grandizing and being a jerk, <laughs> being an overall jerk, okay? Thank you for watching my story. So they put the boys off the bus, and thank God I came along and found them because they were cold and hungry. I ended up giving them my Cheetos, and they were shivering and cold, and I had bottled water. I kept bottled water. I gave them bottled water and Cheetos, and they was cool. So thank you for watching episode 15, Dime Short. I'll see you on the next trip. Peace.